Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm sure all of you, I'm sure many of you have seen the... <laughs> the tantrums of Sylvia Masil. I am sure President Kaka Inde Ichilema, if he had any doubts about uh, the ability and the soberness of Sylvia Masil, I'm sure after watching that video, Kaka Inde Ichilema, definitely you would not uh, have any excuse not to relieve Sylvia Masil, unless, of course, if uh, indeed you are eating with her and you are scared, but really you cannot be scared of who? Sylvia Masebo. Surely the woman just needs to go. Just the way she was conducting herself, that's, I mean, everything from the way she spoke to, the, to those volunteers, the way she overlooked her colleague, the minister that was with her. I mean, she was behaving like the man is not there. He was trying, you know, trying to, trying to, 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 to beck on her, to say, please come back, come, you know. But no ways. She just ignored him. She just ignored him. That was so rude. That was so rude to the minister who was appointed. Because as she was talking there, she was talking as if she's, the, she's still the minister of health. She was even giving directives. Giving directives as who? You are no longer the minister. The minister, the substantive minister was standing next to her. She disrespected him. And then she disrespected the permanent secretaries. You can imagine what those people are going through. And you know, it now confirms to some of you who are thinking that to Alela and Alandafia, you know, shan, shan, shan. you saw how she bulldozed things. You saw how she bulldozed things. What she wants is what has to happen. What she wants is what has to happen. To start with, just there, just there, she was no longer Minister of Health. So, on what basis was she giving those instructions? On what basis? On what basis was she even, uh, you know, addressing those people? On what basis? What was she doing there? She was already removed. There is a new minister. If there are handovers, I mean, those things would have been done, you know, uh, in the offices. She would have given a new minister, okay, there are these people that needs to be handled and whatever, whatever. But, you know, she was even saying, I'm the one who knows your issues. Eh? I pity you because I'm the only one who knows your issues. So the new minister doesn't know about it. So meaning the new minister will not do anything. So what about continuity? Where is the continuity? If, since Masewo, she's the one who knew about those volunteers, and there's a new minister, why not hand over to this new minister? Those whatever issues that were pending, why not hand over? Why come up there and embarrass this minister to say, he doesn't know, I'm the one who knows? And threaten people to say, I can, I can, I can, I can have you out. Even if I'm not here, what powers is she, where is she drawing those powers? That there is a new minister and yet she has powers to influence things, to even fire people. What, where is she getting the powers? Where is she getting the powers? These are the things, this is how she has been operating. And we have been telling you that this woman is disgraceful. This woman is, is, is shameless. This is how she has been behaving. This is how she cancelled those hospitals. And we lost money, by the way. We lost money. She cancelled out that, that deal of uh, $100 million. 
That is how she cancelled it. Because she blatantly asked for a kickback. She blatantly asked for a kickback. I must be paid 2 million uh, rands. If I'm not paid, the deal is going to be cancelled. And the deal was cancelled. Then came this issue of uh, Egypt. Whoever stood, I have been saying it here to say, whoever stood in the way of Sylvia Masibo was flushed out. And you saw the behavior there. That is the behavior that she has. And she has no respect. She has no respect for people who are, who are for professionals or technocrats, so to say. Because if you, if you look at people like, like uh, what is this, Magwede. Magwede is, is a technocrat. He is a person that understands things very, very much. Then we also have um, Professor, uh, Professor, Ka, Professor what? Yeah, that professor who was the PS there. He's also an, he's, he's a person that he, uh, he's, 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 he's a professional. But no, Sylvia Masewo knew everything. No one could question Sylvia Masewo. She has so much, you know, uh, 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 what, what is the word? She has, she has a, a condescending attitude. She had a condescending attitude on other, uh, other professionals. And you know, Minister of Health is, is quite, uh, it's not just a hospital, it's not just a ministry where you just go, that is technical ministry. You need to listen to the technocrats, but no ways. Look how she was directing, look how she was directing that PS. Eh? So, uh, we, we, uh, the money is there, uh, we're supposed to pay. Tomorrow they should, you should come here. She wants to leave problems for the, for the, for the, for the, for the new minister. She wants to have people line up. Why didn't she call those people to line up when she was there? Why didn't she do that? Why didn't she do that? Why call them? Tomorrow come and line up. Eh? Can you work on can we work on weekend? Okay, Monday. Okay, we are starting with really. She was talking like she's on drugs. How am I Tabali win? Tabali we know. But with all that behavior that she put up. With all that behavior that she put up, she has now moved. She's taking that behavior now to Ministry of Lands. Surely, do you really think that that woman should continue being a minister? That behavior that you saw, do you really think that woman should continue being a minister? Because yes, she has moved from, from Ministry of Health, but now she's going somewhere else. She's taking that madness to... Uh, she's taking that madness to... Ministry of Lands, which is unacceptable. And where is Haka in the HLM? Where is Haka in the HLM? Haka in the HLM? Imwe so with that behavior of Sylvia Masebo. You think she's fit to be a minister? Eh? You think she's fit to be a minister? That woman doesn't deserve to be in leadership. She doesn't. Not even as an MP. That woman, she doesn't, she doesn't deserve to be in leadership. Not anywhere. Not anywhere. There is no ministry where you can have you have to take that woman, that woman. Because that confusion that you saw is what she's taking to the other ministry. I'm asking you, President Aka in the Do you really think those are the kind of ministers that you are boasting about to say you see my cabinet? Is that a cabinet that you can boast about? Can you boast about Sylvia Masebo, honestly? What is Sylvia Masebo doing? Because Sylvia Masebo, even at the Ministry of Health, she has just messed up. She has been a mess. Apart from corruption, even just the way she has handled the, 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 the ministry, it has been a mess. She's a disaster. Apart from being corrupt, she's so corrupt. But even, even in terms of being a minister, policy direction, the woman has been a disaster at that ministry. And then, now, you're going to take her to another ministry. To do what? That woman needs help. I'm telling you, that woman needs help. Eh? She needs help, that woman. She's not okay. Because the quality... I mean, you, you need to control yourself as a minister. People were trying to pull her back. People were trying to restrain her. The minister was trying to restrain her. Those other people who were there were trying to restrain her. And no ways. Eh? Who are you? Who do you think you are? Well, mm, 
which minister? Which minister? And you know, I know Mama Sibu. She has not been like that. There is something, there is something seriously wrong with her. There is something seriously wrong. She's not okay, that woman, she's not okay. And what kind of issue they are really keeping Sylvia Masewu? It just goes to show what a, 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 an incompetent president he is. I used to say it before that Waka in the Ishilema is, 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 is an incompetent president. That is the incompetence. That is the incompetence. If, you, if a president can keep such a person, that is the incompetence because being a president, being a leader of a nation, is to make sure that you have the right people doing right things. If people are not doing correct things, you have to withdraw them. You have to be in charge. But with what we saw, with what we are seeing in this cabinet, can we say Baka in the HMI is in charge? No. He's there as the president, but he's very incompetent. I'm a boasting, boasting, boasting. But in Chito, I won't a part of Monica. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.